The widgets in iOS 14 allow a great deal of customization that wasn't available before, but the stock photo widget doesn't really work well. While it only allows you to add featured photos on the home screen, it doesn't allow you to add your own photos. On an iPhone right out of the box, you can add a smart stack widget, which consists of some widgets, including photo widget. So every once in a while, it shows you photos, but a randomly selected one. Or just a sole widget that again shows only selected photos and memories. And it's not selected by you, but rather automatically by the app. And if you want your own photos to be shown on the home screen, you need to go to the App Store. And there are definitely some apps that I would recommend you in this scenario. So you can definitely take a look at them. Okay, so one tip before we get into it, I mean, this applies to any app. I mean, because we all want to stay private and secure, make sure to only select photos that you want the app to have access to. And at the end, those that need or you want them to show up on the home screen. Don't necessarily click on the option that says low access to all photos even though it probably won't do any harm to your phone or privacy, but just to be sure, because that's already a new feature in iOS 14 as well. So one app that you just cannot go wrong with is just one called Photo Widget. The link can of course be found in the description down below, but it's an app, it's, it's just a plain and very simple app. It doesn't have any features or anything like that. It's just something that you want to use to add your own photo to your home screen and not care about anything else. It's free, it has some ads when you use the app, but you're gonna be using it for like 30 seconds and then you'd never look at it again. And you, it actually allows you to add photos to the home screen, but sometimes it just lags a little bit and it shows black screen for a second for some reason. Maybe an update will be released, but this is the simplest one that you get and there's nothing which you can do wrong with this one. By the way guys, if you are new on this channel and if you don't want to miss the next uploads and the next videos regarding everything Apple related, then make sure to subscribe and never miss anything important in the future. And what you can also do is to support this video with your thumbs up. I would greatly appreciate it. Now let's continue with the video. Of course, the next most popular widget is called Widgetsmith, and there are plenty of options with this one, but it's been talked about a lot. I don't really want to go really deep into this one. Just go ahead and download it if you're not really used to it, used to it or haven't seen it before. Yeah, it allows you a lot of functionality, but I'm not going to go over it. Then what you can try out is something called Photobox Widget. Again, a very same principle and very similar thing that it does, but just for the sake of diversification or for you to actually pick from something, there is this photo box widget as well. But uh, one thing to pay attention to, of course, it's a free app on the App Store, but when you open it up for the first time, it will ask you to just try it out for free for a week and then you're gonna pay like monthly or even like three dollars per week or something which does not justify the functionality at all but i mean i wouldn't really go ahead and pay for it if you if you want to just go ahead and do it but anyway you can just hit cancel and come back and use the free version with ads and again you can add text to the widgets to the photos so a little bit more of the customization right there again three different sizes for that specific photo on the home screen I mean, everything what Apple allows you to do on the home screen is available with this app. Okay, so this would be it. This is the end of this video. I really do hope that I helped you a little bit in case you are struggling with the photos widget. I know that many people use iOS 14 and don't know how to add their own photo to the home screen. I mean, hopefully I helped you and hopefully I gave you some tips. So leave a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and found it helpful. See you guys later and thanks a lot for your support.